Hello guys, today we're going to analyze this problem and see how kinematic equations apply to this case. A speed skater moving across a frictionless ice at 8.3 meters per second hits a 6 meter wide patch of rough ice. She slows steadily and then continues at 5.9 meters per second. So we can see that the skater was sliding across frictionless ice and she had an initial speed of 8.3 meters per second. The green arrow represents the speed that she had before. As we can see, when she gets to the edge of the rough patch, her velocity also 8.3 meters per second to the right. That's the green arrow. Now I'm going to make a close caption only to the rough patch of ice and analyze what happens. As soon as she crosses the rough patch of ice, her speed is diminished to 5.9 meters per second. As we can see in this picture that has the velocities before and after the 6 meters of rough patch of ice. In this situation, what we want to know is the acceleration that the skater had to change her velocity from 8.3 meters per second to the right to 5.9 meters per second to the right. We are going to use kinematic equations to approach this situation. As we can see straight from kinematic equations, velocity final square is equal to velocity initial square plus 2 times the acceleration times delta x, that's the width of the rough patch of ice. We know that the final velocity at the end of the patch is 5.9 meters per second, the initial velocity is 8.3, delta x is 6 meters. We continue working on algebra, divide by 12, and we get that the acceleration is negative 2.84 meters per second square. That's the rate of change of the velocity. Let's note that the acceleration is negative. So when the acceleration is in the opposite direction to the velocity, the magnitude of the velocity decreases. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends, your geek friends, your girlfriend, and anyone who needs physics for college or life. Keep it going, guys.